Hello and welcome to our MaxServe Webinar 3 series summary videos on Intax Stability. This first video is about setting up your model and checking it when first bringing it from MaxSurf over to HydraMax. There are some checks you should perform in MaxSurf. The first of these are making sure that you have set up the frame of reference in zero point. If you've used surface trimming you will also want to verify that you've trimmed the surfaces so that there are no gaps between them and also no overlaps. You just want a single closed section around your model. If surfaces touch on the edges you want to ensure that you've used the surface bonding command to make sure that there are no gaps between surface edges. If you've modelled interior surfaces then you want to set the surface usage type to internal structure for any surfaces such as tanks, compartments or decks. The surfaces table on Max Surf is a good place to check surface thicknesses. If you're working on a composite vessel this is especially important as you may want to add the surface thickness or deduct the surface thickness for tanks. And finally you should use the outside arrows command to verify the outside arrows are set up so they always point outwards from the surface towards the wetted side of the hull. Once you bring your design over into Hydromax then you'll want to use some commands which I'll show you shortly to walk through the hull sections and verify they have formed correctly and also to check the curve of areas. I'll also mention that all of the hydrostatic data in Hydromax is saved in the Hydromax HMD file. Uh, that includes sections, tanks, compartments, down flooding points and so on. Let's move over to Hydromax and uh, walk through the procedure for opening a design for the first time. So I'll close the design that I've currently got open and opening a new design from MaxSurf. I would first choose uh, whether or not I've used surf surface skin thickness in my model and if I've used trim surfaces I will want to turn on that option. Then in the longitudinal direction I specify how many stations I want to use. For a commercial vessel typically we'll want to use one or two hundred stations. If we have a lot of shape or discontinuity in the longitudinal direction we might use a higher number. The surface precision setting really only affects accuracy in the transverse direction. Medium precision should be fine for almost all vessels. It would be an unusual situation if you had a lot of transverse complexity that you would use higher precisions. That model will be loaded in and sections will be formed through the design. And we recommend that you just quickly run an upright hydrostatics analysis to run the uh, analysis at the design waterline and then switch over to the graph window and take a look at the curve of areas of the vessel. You will be looking for a curve of areas that's evenly varying and doesn't have any unusual gaps or spikes in it. That's a good way to verify that the volume is being calculated correctly at each of the sections. If you're opening an existing design in MaxSurf that you've already worked on, then you'll be reading in the existing data. As I mentioned, that's all of your existing data and that might include tanks and so forth. And so from the display menu you'll use this command to show a single hull section and body plan. Normally all of the data for the design is shown but when you turn on that option just a single section at a time is shown and the control box is shown in the top right hand corner of the window. You can then use the left and right arrow keys to walk your way up and down the design and inspect each section and make sure that it's formed correctly. If you come to a part of the vessel where there are tanks it will also show the tank sections closest to the current hull section and that's a good way to verify that your tanks are also forming correctly. So we'll recommend that you use that command to walk through your model as part of your validation procedure. That concludes our introduction to checking your model. Thank you for watching.